So understand the real reason why I'm not looking my best. So I'm gonna give you guys step-by-step -step routine. Your period might actually be like that golden time. Bring your beauty back the next day. We're going to the beach club. I am at my friend's place because we are celebrating Canada's Day and I'm making made cocktail drinks with whiskey, my favorite way, with ginger ale. And then we've got like some salad. Some salad. We're using this dressing, my favorite. And then we've got prosciutto, some chicken, and these. Oh my god. These are the best truffle kettle chips. My favorite. <laughs> you can just give it to me. <laughs> Didn't want to disturb the No, scene. don't even worry. I love it when it's natural. Yeah. I feel weird saying this. Making. <laughs> the best whiskey cocktail. Shot glass. Ooh, can you take out the soda? Yeah. Just gonna get... This is more than a shot for sure. This is the Russian version of yes, a shot. It is. <laughs> okay, we'll do like half for both. Mm -hmm. Actually, we gotta fill it up with ice first. Hold on. Okay, so we gotta fill up all glasses with ice. A little bit. We'll put in one shot for both. Then we're going to mix this whiskey 12 times. We put this in, and then we. Circles. One, two. Okay. Then we do we put in ginger ale. And we're gonna try to not aim it at the ice. Dash, do you like it when it's when it's frizzy, right? I like whatever you make for me. Okay. Because I like mine when it's not frizzy. Bubbles? Yeah, the bubbles. I'm, I'm okay with or without. Okay, perfect. Just I'll make, make yours with it because that's the original original recipe. Honestly, whatever, whatever you make, I'm sure I'll like. Okay. And then for mine, I'm gonna pour it on the ice. If you want yours less frizzy, you gotta put it on the ice. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of lemon juice. It's better if you actually have lemon, but we don't. Then we mix it 14 and a half times. Okay, it's done. These look so good. Yum. I got these things. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you don't look your best or look prettier on some days and don't on other days. I have my notes all ready on my iPad. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. This video is really more so like a comforting video for those of you who are just not feeling your best lately. We all have those days. I have those days where I just don't feel good. Like if I had a video like this on YouTube where I can just so understand the real reason why I'm not looking my best and these all have reasons I think I would have felt a lot better this is going to be especially catered towards for girls I'm going to talk a lot about like hormonal imbalance and lots about female things so yeah let's just get right into it so the first question that I want to ask is, are you on your period? I know for me personally, right before I start my period or during my period, I do not look the best, especially the first couple of days, I don't look my best. This really has to do with your, when you're on your period, your male testosterone go extra high. You might be seeing more of your hair looking more visible. You might be seeing body hair and facial hair that looks a lot more visible during these days. And also your body is just gonna look a lot bulkier because it's holding a lot of water retention, especially when you're on your period. Your stomach is gonna feel a lot more bloated during this time. So not only does that sort of make your body look chubbier. I promise you it is not the case and it is all going to fall off as soon as your period ends. And I'm not really sure if this is scientific, but I personally noticed when I'm on my period, I actually tend to crave for more food, but I don't gain as much weight. I don't know what the science is behind this. Maybe my 
body is burning more calories when I'm on my period, but I know even though I eat more, I don't gain as much. So if you are craving a lot of foods and you're just feeling really icky about it, don't worry about it too much during your period. It is all going to fall off. But again, if you are trying to lose your weight, this time of your period might actually be like that golden time. I've noticed that my jaws even look bigger during my period or right before my period. Again, I think that has to do with your male testosterones and especially if you're someone who have more male testosterones, I've noticed that that also has impact in the way your skin is appearing. Right before and during your period, your skin might be breaking out a lot. I know for me, right and towards the end of my period, my skin actually glows. My skin looks absolutely fantastic. That's me right now. My skin looks really good. And that's the reason why I am filming this video because <laughs> I purposely time it that way to make sure that I show you guys the best version of myself. But I do want to let you guys know my skin doesn't always look like this every single day of the year. It really does fluctuate throughout the month. A lot of you guys ask me like my skincare routine, how do you keep your skin so clear? I am so willing to film a video on that because I went through the worst hormonal breakouts, especially in high school, all over my skin. And I have come a really long way to to clear those up. So I have so many tips and so many helpful things that I know is going to help you guys mentally and physically. Get excited for that. It, it is gonna come. I know I've been saying it for a while, but it is gonna come. And number two, water retention. Did you eat something really salty or spicy and you drank a lot of water last night? For me, I know if I have a special day the next day or I need to like film or, you know, I'm going on a date, whatever it is, I make sure that I don't eat salty foods or spicy foods the night before and I try to eat a little bit of like a less sodium diet a day before because water retention is actually crazy. Your face looking, your face and body looking puffy versus not puffy, it makes the huge, the biggest difference. And I actually have a video on this about water retention and water weight. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave the link in the description or you can probably click a card right here. I'll like pop it up. But it's a very helpful video that I know is going to give you guys a lot of tips on how to get rid of that water weight in a short period of time using gua sha, lymphatic drainage and all of that to help you look more toned. Another thing that leads to water retention the next day is did you consume alcohol the night before or did you have some sort of a high intensity or cardio workout the day before? This can definitely make your body and your face look really bloated. For me, it's the best to relieve that with sauna, relieve that with some sort of you know lymphatic drainage, massages, and stretches. I have so many videos of those, so you guys can check them out in my channel. My videos are all all about how to make yourself look the best, or make yourself look the most toned. All those resources are out there, go check it out. And the next point is, did you get enough sleep? I know you didn't. I know you were scrolling through TikTok and Instagram last night until 4 a.m. and you woke up at 11 a.m. this morning. I know, we've all been there, I've been there. It's just, it's summer, you know, we love doing that. But unfortunately, if you don't get enough sleep, your face is not going to look good. And people say beauty sleep is really the way to go, but it really is the way to go because I know when I don't get enough sleep and I wake up the next morning, my face is crusty, my skin's breaking out, my body doesn't look as you know toned, it just looks a little bit like bloated, all of that, it really does have to do with sleep. Because when you go to sleep, it really gives your body rest and it makes your body fresh itself on its own. We need that. We need rejuvenation, but also not getting a bunch of sleep, like 10 to 14 hours of bad sleep versus four to six hours of quality, quality sleep. That also makes another difference. Definitely try, I know there's a lot of resources out there like mood rings or like some sort of like sleep health watches or apps that record how you are sleeping. It tells you if you're grinding your teeth or you know, there's so many apps out there. For me, getting sleep is not hard. I've never suffered from having insomnia or anything like that, but I did experience a couple days not being able to fall asleep because I was just stressed for a lot of like personal things. That was probably the worst experience of my life. So I know how awful it feels to not be able to fall asleep. 
something that has helped me to kind of get out of that rut is first of all getting in some, some air and like really just relieving all of that stress as much as i can and what also helps is taking melatonin so get in your sleep beauty queens now another question that i want to ask you guys is is there something that is pressuring you or giving you stress at the moment i have witnessed this live with people around me, including myself. When I am super stressed or pressured about something, I automatically start tensing my jaw and that jaw starts tensing the rest of my facial muscles. I don't know what the science is behind it, but my face actually looks different when I am pressured or stressed. Like you can see that immediately. As soon as I feel that and it goes a little bit prolonged, you can see the difference. And I've noticed this with my friends too, because I was traveling with my friends once we went to like Mexico. One of my friends had some sort of like an issue with the data or phone data and Wi-Fi or something like that. Like the Wi-Fi wasn't working, but she was getting charged. And so she was super stressed and she was trying to figure that out. So this girl looked super lively and like, you know, she's still always, she will always be a beautiful girl. But when she, was going through all of that process and then came out of it and came out to meet us i saw her face and it looks different like even the photos show it looks different i don't know what it is but maybe it's your facial feature changing or this prolonged stress giving tense face something about tension it just doesn't go well with beauty i have noticed myself too when i'm stressed and someone sees me they're like especially my mom because she is brutal she is brutal with judgment sometimes but she will see my face and she'll be like um did something happen like i feel like you lost maybe like gained weight or something or like you i see like dark circles like do you need magnesium or something like she'll like ask me these questions and i'm like oh my god no no, no. i'm literally just stressed about something it makes a difference so relieve your stress ladies okay so now that we've talked about all of those questions i want you guys to know there are solutions to bring back your real self that i use and it works every single time so i'm going to give you guys step-by-step -step routine on what you can do to relieve all of that you know achiness and to bring your beauty back the next day i really hope it helps you guys as well but make sure to follow every single step step for maximum results okay so first things first you are going to be doing a low intensity workout or cardio for at least 30 minutes i would say 30 to 40 would be the perfect amount of time that could literally just be going for a jog outside or doing some sort of like a 30 minute pilates workout or like an indoor anything that's low intensity nothing too high intensity because high intensity workouts will actually make your body look more bloated you know lifting weights stuff like that like i wouldn't recommend that as much if you are trying to tone down the night before if you have access to a sauna go use a sauna for at least 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't have sauna, you can also do a hot bath. And I actually talked about how to do a hot bath the correct way to really get rid of the water retention in your body. And I explained this step-by-step -step in my previous, previous video, in the one where I help you guys get rid of water weight and water retention in your face. Then you are going to be having a low sodium dinner. If you really want, you can do a low sodium diet for the full day, but if that's too much for you, then just do it for dinner at least. Have a low sodium dinner, nothing too spicy, nothing too salty. You are also not going to drink any food or water after 8, 8 p.m. is the max. You can eat before that, you can drink before that. Honestly, you could probably take a few sips after that as well of water, but try not to drink or eat anything after 8 p.m. And then you're going to watch my water retention video and follow along the full body and face gua sha routine. I show you guys step-by-step -step on how to do the full routine using a foam roller or using some sort of a gua sha tool to really bring all of that blood circulation back into your entire body so your body and face is going to look so snatched so much more toned than before then you are going to do breath work for at least five minutes i have not really talked about breath work that many times on this channel but i really do think they help in terms 
of getting your mind clear and just getting rid of that stress. Again, like I said, stress does make your face look really tense and it really ruins your beautiful face. So I will recommend doing some sort of like meditation or breath work for at least five minutes. If you don't know how to do it, there's so many resources out there on YouTube. You could probably search those up and find some routines that can help and guide you. And then you're going to sleep early tonight. Bonus points if you can put on a face mask and some hair mask, exfoliate your skin, clean your eyebrows, just the basics and really Really just putting yourself back together feeling your best self the next day if you follow all of this like i have suggested you you will wake up tomorrow morning significantly get rid of the puffiness and also your your natural glow than the night before i hope you guys follow along and let me know in the comments if, if you guys actually do try these steps and see results if you have any other suggestions to really get your aura back and getting your glow back because we all have those days i do want to finish this video off that to be honest at the end of the day not many people really notice any difference in you whether you feel great or whether you feel not your best because it's really all about what you think in your head and also it's very small details that no one can really tell except yourself unless that other person is like very extremely detail oriented like i am i am incredibly detail oriented so you can't really take my experience based on everyone's viewpoint but you know i can normally tell but normally people can't tell if you look different so don't worry too much about it you know have a good sleep have some quality sleep take some time to yourself and really just bring yourself back using this routine and you will be good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and follow all of my social medias to see more of me and keep on getting live updates and posts when my next video is coming up and all of the behind the scenes stuff i hope to see you guys in my next video